Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great hybrid expandable travel trailer value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, we just took in this 2013 Jayco J Feather Ultralight X23B hybrid uh, yesterday. Uh, people had bought this camper new a year ago, have used it three times. They liked camping so much that they actually traded in this and their pickup truck in on a motorhome. Folks, this thing is to say it's like and use an understatement. I mean, this is basically like buying a new camper and saving $10,000. A lot of upgrades. I priced this particular one online brand new for twenty five dollars to $27,000 with the options that are on this one. I've looked online. I found them used for about two to $3,000 more and up for the same year making model of this one. Folks, this thing here is just spotless, like it's been used three times. It's got the exterior paint, the power awning, the aluminum alloy wheels. It's got the inside outside speakers. No delamination. The striping and finish is perfect. Folks, this is a Jayco. Over 80%, or excuse me, 75% of their factory workforce are either Amish or Mennonites. So you can imagine the quality that goes into each and every Jayco product. This camper just weighs 4,300 pounds. A 23 foot overall length. It's got a power tongue jack. That's an upgrade. The canvases look just like new. It's got the side slide out that's power. DSI water heater that runs off LP or electric. I'm going to tell you folks, it's just they don't come any nicer than this in a used camper. The only one to get one nicer and cleaner than this one is to go buy a brand new one for twenty-five to twenty-seven thousand dollars. Great chance to save a lot of money if you're looking to buy a new camper, but you don't want to pay a new price. And this right here is going to be your next camper. Diamond shield on the front. Like I said, the canvases look great. The awning looks like a brand new one. There's no apologies, no excuses for it, folks. I mean, this thing is as nice as you're going to find in a pre-owned RV. I like how they have the curvature on the roof, too, that eliminates standing water. And that eliminates a lot of leak worries down the line. Another cool thing I like at Jayco's do, notice the extended spouts on the gutters. That's because of the ones most of them have the little short spouts and they get black streaks on your camper where the water drips down on it. Jayco solved that problem with the bigger spouts. Let's take a look inside. One thing I also like about Jayco too, they're the largest privately owned manufacturer of RVs in America. Not a public company. But you can actually call up to Jayco and talk to one of the owners without an appointment. They're that kind of factory. A uh, really impressive place here if you get a chance to visit it. Folks inside this camper, it's like new. It even still has a new RV smell to it. No smoke, no pet odors, and we show you everything works perfectly. It's still got a lot of the cell stickers in it for when it was a new camper. Queen bed in the front, heated mattress. Overhead storage. Of course, this is the Jayco, so you've got these great Amish and Mennonite built hardwood cabinetries, real, real wood cabinets. Got a large U shaped dinette. Uh, this table is removable, so you can use it outside, use it for a picnic table underneath your awning if you wanted to. Makes almost a queen size bed itself. In the slide out, you've got a sleeper sofa that sleeps too. So this is actually an eight sleeper RV for under 4,400 pounds. That's extremely lightweight to sleep this many people. Day night shades in all the windows. Uh, not, a, not any carpet, I really like that. You can just sweep it out or mop it out. A side kitchen area. Double basin sink with a sprayer. LP stove top and oven, microwave hood. It's got a furnace, roof air, plenty of drawer space, big wardrobe closet here on the side, nor cold two-way RV refrigerator freezer. Remember, we show you all that works great. Rear queen bed, 
heated mattresses again. I mean, look at that canvas, folks. There's not a spot of mold or mildew anywhere. I mean, this thing is, you can tell, it doesn't even look like it's been used. What I like about a hybrid, folks, is you can pop these beds up and down very, very easily, a lot quicker than a pop-up. And the fact that you got full use of this camper, even when both your beds are folded in, basically the mattress becomes the inside wall. Uh, so it doesn't take up any space if you're stopping somewhere overnight. You don't have to put these beds out if you don't want to. you still got the sofa and the table beds you can use. Or you can just put one out if you want to. It just takes a few minutes to set them up and down. Very, very easy to set up. And like I said, you still have full use of the camper even when they're not set up. Plus the fact that you can actually get a 23-foot camper when you're towing it, but you actually got a 27-foot camper when it's set up because... Uh, you're towing, but the way these pop-outs work, you're towing a smaller camper than you're actually getting while you're using. Plus the fact you've got all your bedrooms out of the way. You've got the full 23 foot for living space because you got your front and rear bedrooms already set up. So you get all this living space included. A hybrid's just a great way to camp for somebody who needs to sleep a lot of people but keep the weight down. And that's what these are designed to do. I mean, how many 4,300 pound campers do you see you can sleep eight people in and tow and only be 23 feet long when you're towing it? Not many, except a hybrid. Uh, side bathroom, it's got the skylight, the corner shower, the RV toilet, the sink. It's got the optional remote control thermostatic control mountain breeze fan. Guess they got a lot of nice options on here, folks. Twenty-five to twenty-seven thousand dollars new, NADA still over twenty grand on it because Jayco's hold their value so well because they're so well built. This is one of the brands that people just look for when they're buying used campers. NADA without options, eighteen two. That's no options. That's just straight base model. Uh, the TV's not standard. The Several other things are not standard. The vent's not standard. Aluminum wheel's not standard. Uh, 22,565 is what it's worth now, according to NADA as equipped. 18,2 base book. Folks, I'm only asking 15,9. I looked online at uh, the 23Bs. You can look for yourself, folks, RV Trader, wherever you want to look. Uh, cheapest one I found was $3,000 more than this one, and it doesn't have near the equipment. So 15.9 folks, it's a bargain. Like new, used three times. I mean, why go spend 25 grand on you when you can buy this one for 10 grand less? Doesn't get any better than that. And unlike the new dealers, folks, when you buy a new one, they're going to charge you dock fees, prep fees, destination fees, delivery fees, uh, all these crazy fees, and you're talking about several hundred dollars in fees on top of the $25,000, $26,000 price you're going to pay. At Parkway RV Center, we have no fees. Fifteen nine is a price. That's it. Nothing extra. It's not plus tax, tag, and title, and all that junk. It's tax if you're Georgia. But folks, as far as dock fees and ta and prep fees and tag and title fees, we charge none of that junk. Folks, all that stuff they charge is a hundred percent dealer profit and completely unnecessary to purchase a used or even a brand new RV. So you've been throwing away money all these years paying all these crazy fees. Parkway RV Center, we've been in business for over 46 years. Family owned and operated one of the oldest used RV dealerships in the USA into our third generation now. And folks, the reason why we're so successful in this very competitive business, we keep our prices thousand lo thousands lower than other RV dealers. And because of that, we sell coast to coast, nationwide, every week. We sold 600 plus used RVs last year, folks. 80% of those 600 RVs that we sold went to buyers that lived at least 300 miles away or more. Because we save you so much money, not just on the price, but the fact is we charge no extra fees. That saves you hundreds right there. And... When you finance through us, we don't mark interest rates up. A lot of people don't know this, but when you finance an RV at most RV dealerships, they mark the interest rate up on average 4%. 
In other words, they get you approved just like we do, 60 months, 2% interest rate, uh, get you up to 144 months financed on this RV. But what they do is they actually mark the rate up from, like, say, 3% to 7%. You're still paying, the bank gets the 3%, the dealer keeps the 4%, costing you hundreds if not thousands of dollars in extra RV payments over the life of an RV loan that you would not have had to pay if you'd bought it from Parkway RV Center. So we save you hundreds on interest rates and payments. We save you thousands on the price and, it, and several hundred dollars on fees, folks. That's Parkway RV Center. That's why we've been here for 46 years. That's why we sell... 15 to 20 percent of our inventory every week to people just like you all over the country it doesn't matter if you live 10 miles away or 3,000 miles away we're going to save you money give us a call 706-965-7929 or 423-605-6747 is our after hour sales help number folks it doesn't cost you anything to call us and you've got everything to gain we're going to save you money all we ask you to do is call us let us earn your business thank you for watching folks and please let us know if we can help